guys welcome to our channel so today we will be talking about mental health and we're gonna introduce ourselves I am Rajay and I'm Raymond and um, yeah that's my husband so we're gonna get into mental health and like just talk about important topics and you know what our takes on it are and you know how we deal with our mental health and take care of ourselves mentally so basically for those who don't know mental health is your um, emotional psychological and social well-being which affects how you act and you know proceed about certain things so you can start like how do you you know keep your mental health in check and what do you do to make sure that you know mentally you are in like a good state of mind sorry that's the dog if you hear Luke and that's the ball um for me I think I mean mental mental health for me is mind body and soul um it's really mind body and soul is really about living a life of balance um so me personally I mean I do I like to do a lot of self-reflection I like to take a lot of moments where I meditate where I think on certain things I game plan um, that's what really mental health is for me um, I, and I really think in order to have a good mental life a good, good mental health you gotta have a balanced lifestyle yeah for sure um, for me one of the biggest things that I had to deal with to have my mental health in check one was acceptance like accepting certain things that has happened in my life whether it be death um, you know things from my past like and also forgiveness um, I struggled a lot with forgiveness, especially as pertains to like people in my family or people who have hurt me from like past relationships, whatever it may be. Like those are the biggest things that I had to deal with internally because I was the type of person I would just keep so much like just bottled in inside to the point that I would have anxiety attacks. Like I would start having really bad heart palpitations and just just go crazy like it wasn't a, a great state of mind for me to be in so just making sure that you're having a self-evaluation and I can't stress enough meditation that's something that I just recently started actually focusing on like I've meditated but I never took it like seriously like I feel like when people say meditate you're thinking like oh okay like I can sit there and meditate but I'm thinking yeah. about all this stuff but you have to like honestly and truly like give it a try and like put forth all your effort just sit there clear your mind and think of nothing like enjoy the music and just enjoy being alive breathing just sitting there doing nothing like enjoy that time that you take and like your day will be so much better like I noticed that doing that in yoga pff, like I had so much energy like it was like very refreshing and like good for me so yeah and I think honestly um, forgiveness is key and when you really think about it a lot of times we say forgiveness is for the other person but not it's really for yourself and you really allow yourself to move from that mental bondage that the other person put you on from if yeah. they hurt you if they did X Y and Z yeah you're saying I'm moving on from that past hurt I'm letting it go is not I'm not carrying it with me anymore and you think about it, I mean you think mentally how how much mental uh, uh, your mental health affects your relationship. You, you think about it. For me, example, um, in high school, I was played by by a girl, and I said, "Man, I'll never let that happen to me again." But I never took a moment to forgive that person, and instead of being played, I became the player. Mm -hmm. And I had to really realize what I needed to do to become a better person was forgive, move on, mm -hmm. and move forward with my life. And I had to do that with family members. I had to do that yeah. with friends, and, and and it's okay. And a lot of times you say, why do I got to be the bigger person? I did nothing wrong. But that's not the point. The point is, you're trying to move forward in your life. I'm trying to move forward in my life. It's not about you right now. This is about me. So I'm forgiving you for me so I can move forward. And I think that's what's really key for me is forgiving, accepting. But again, like you said, personal reflection is one thing I always do. I do a lot of journaling. Yeah. I mean, just because you're a man don't mean you can't write yeah. things down. I do a lot Writing of journals. Helps a lot. When she tell me I buy too many journals, so what I did is I, I buy them just for looks. I buy I bought an iPad so I can change the cover of my journal with that. Um, but I mean, I do a lot of writing, self-reflection and, and it, it'll show you your journey in life of how where you started from and where you, where you are, are and where you're going. Mm -hmm. 
but mental health, I think, is really you got to have a balance with it from mental, emotional, psychological, and natural. You got to have a balance with it. And I like that you said being the bigger person because I feel like oftentimes, like, we think being the bigger person is bad. But if you always find yourself being the bigger person, like, it's actually a good thing that just goes to show, you know, where you're at in life, like, how you can address the situation and move on from it. So mentally, like, you are okay. You don't have to worry about, you know, the things that happened, whatever the issue may have been. Like, you're able to address it and move on from it and accept it. Like, the fact that you can accept it, that's, like, the biggest thing. Like, and especially, so I've read, um, let's chill out. Sorry, that's my dog. Um, so I was reading this scholarly article and about mental health in minorities and so 60% of people who have mental health disorders are minorities and that includes African Americans, Native Americans, and Hispanics. Of that 60%, 40% were African Americans and I feel like we don't address the certain things that we deal with because oh, yeah. of how we were raised. Like, you know, with our generation and our culture, like, yeah. especially with black men, you're taught, oh, like, crying man is up. for girls, man up. Like, not to yeah. show emotion, and showing emotion is okay. Yeah, and, um, I mean, I was on Instagram one day, and I was, uh, I followed Charlamagne, the guy, and he was saying, I think it was him, I believe it was him, but he posted, I believe in God, but I believe in therapy as well. Yes. And you don't have to go to a, a psychologist, sit down with them, and, but, Therapy, one-on-one -on -one yeah. session with someone. I mean, me and my wife, we do a lot of talking back and forth. Um, but whatever it is, if it's your past, if it's your mom, if it's your best friend, find somebody. Find your person. Find that therapist that can help you move forward in life. Yeah. And, I mean, you think about it, like you said, going from our culture, it's about, uh, let's oh, forget about it, sweeping under the rug, we're about to overcome this. But mm -hmm. how can you really overcome something if you're not dealing with something? Yeah. Like, you have just to because you ignore it doesn't mean that you overcame it. Just because you and ignore it, will it come back. And when it comes doesn't back, mean it didn't happen. It's gonna yet. come back stronger and, like and harder for you to deal with. Yeah, because a lot of times what you do is you you bottle that thing up, bury it deep down inside, but it just create a toxic lifestyle across and the board. And then when it does present itself, it's like something triggers, and a side of you comes out that you didn't even know you had. Yeah. Like, and that's one thing that I've noticed with me, especially like, you know, in undergrad when we were going through the mess we were going through in our situation. Like when I say mentally, I was in such like a crazy, like I was crazy, like legit crazy. She's like still crazy. I was still like, crazy. accepting the fact I was about to go to jail, like crazy. But like I had to deal with everything that I was going through. Not only that, you know. He was putting me through but what i was putting myself through like what i oh, yeah, accepted you know to happen in my life like you choose what you want to happen in your life yeah. especially like those who battle with like domestic violence or molestation like you don't have to deal with that if yeah. you know someone has hit you once or twice they're going to hit you again and this isn't just for women men get hit too let's yeah. not take that for granted but it's not something to joke about like men get abused whether it's verbally or physically, like it, it, it happens both ways. So it's not something to joke about. It's something serious and people, they need help. So if someone yeah. is coming to you and talking to you, like be their person and say and address certain things in a way that you know it will help them but not be offensive. Because oftentimes we find ourselves thinking we're being helpful, but we say things in a way that we think is being helpful, but it's yeah. just coming off in like a bad way yeah. and it rubs the person like you, I mean, I, I say hurt people can't hurt people. If I'm hurt, if I'm dealing with things, if I'm yeah. in a bad mental state, I can't help anyone else. And that's the biggest thing. I mean, like she said, why did, why she, why did she accept so many things in college? And I even thought about like, man, why did I, what, where was I at mentally where I thought some of that stuff was okay? Like, yeah. why did I think it was okay for me to, do X, Y, and Z. Why did I think it was okay for me to, to cheat and think I could get away with it or do whatever I wanted? Like, where is your mental? And yeah. I mean, I, again, if I never took that moment to self-reflect and have that moment of, okay, mm -hmm. what's causing me to act like this? What's causing me to think like this? Is it from my past? And a lot of times, it, it, it sometimes it does come from how you yeah. were raised, your, the, the culture of your household. It, it really does det determine a lot you, of things in life and, and what, what you, you accept. See. Yeah, what you see. Also, like, the biggest thing is how we're raised. Like, 
I don't like the term or believe in generational curses because you can break that stuff. Like mm. you, the stuff that you went through, your child doesn't have to go through. You yeah. can change that. You set your own norms and, you know, culture to how you want your house to yeah. function. Like if, you know, Ray, Raymond was raised very differently than I was as far as like, you know, believing in Santa Claus and all that stuff, that ain't happening in his household versus me. Nope, it nope, did. Santa. So just like you know communicating having that agreement okay this is how we're going to go about this so mentally our children and our future generations like they don't have to struggle and deal with what we deal with and, and i think honestly what makes it so big is mental issues come from a loss of identity and mm -hmm. so many times we have so many things in life trying to force their identity on us yeah. from what we watch what we listen to our family, our mom, our dad. Mm -hmm. My mom wants me to be uh, a dentist, so I got to be a dentist. My mm -hmm. dad wants me to be do this, so Just I got to do this. So my dad was a construction. My granddad was a, a construction worker. Everybody in my family is a construction worker, so I got to be a construction. No, that's because somebody else's identity doesn't make it your identity. And yeah. I think that's why it causes so much mental depression and mental. Because I mean, we don't do what we love. Yeah, we can't find what we're so passionate about yeah. and love like do what makes you happy don't do it and that was another thing like i had to finally realize and accept like i the career the, uh, i was chasing he's after Jada Pick and Red Table yeah Talk. like what i was chasing after wasn't what i wanted it was what my family wanted and what they expected of me so once you find the thing that you truly love yes. you know chase after that do what you need to do and be happy like meditate meditation is so important like just take the time to focus on your mental health and just see how your life will just progress and you'll just you'll succeed like it's all about you gotta, speaking things into existence so it can manifest like yeah. if you want to be you know the best model for Victoria's Secret speak that into existence figure yeah. out what you have to do to get to you know that step like take the necessary steps but also make sure that you have a supportive yes. you know i don't want to say backbone but just group of people behind you backing you and keeping you in check and in line like checking in on you like hey sis like are you doing you know what you need yeah. to be doing and making sure those people around you are not necessarily successful but are positive influences yes. as well like you don't want to be around people who don't believe in you or aren't doing anything with their lives because yeah. your, your environment on you. your environment really does affect your mental and i mean you really think about sometimes i mean when you i hear about the shootings and stuff when yeah. i hear about domestic violence when i hear about certain things i'm like man like how could somebody do that but it's really like their environment mm -hmm. they're in and sometimes i'm not not um condoning violence or anything but a lot of times we don't know what that person was going through and yeah. no one ever took a moment to say hey yeah are you okay hello how are you i how love you day? and a lot of times they come from a toxic household because mm -hmm. what their parents never took the time to deal with their issues their grandparents yeah. and it's just a trickle down effect from generation to generation to generation and like you said you can break it that one everybody knows somebody was a first generation college student college graduate and it's because he changed his mental mm -hmm. he surrounded himself with a good group of people she surrounded herself with a good group of people and they were able to move forward in life they spoke things into existence and you really have to train your mind to think positive because so many times i even tell her like she's like oh i hate this i hate this i hate yeah. this and i'm like so what do you love about I'm yourself really, what I'm do really you love what do you love and you, if you can't answer that question yeah take a moment what do i love about myself and every time you want to say, oh, I hate my this, I hate this, say, no, I love this. Cause it, I, and open up to somebody because it took us forever. We've been married for seven, married seven years. We've been married three years. Oh, sorry. You've been in a relationship seven years. Sorry. <laughs> Giving us more credit than we do. But anywho, <laughs> we've been together seven years, but we're just now opening up to each other. Like, yeah. I'm usually in good shape. I opened up to her. I'm like, hey, I hate my ass. She's like, what do you mean? Like, you have good ass. I'm like, no, I just suck my stomach in when I'm around people. And I showed her my abs on there, but what do I have to do? I accepted that my abs are not good. Yeah. What am I going to do to fix it? If you're not going to do anything to fix it, shut up. Stop complaining right. about it. But if you are, take the mental note, accept it, forgive it, move on, create a game plan, mm -hmm. and really open up. And I think you have to open up. And that's what therapy is about. Yeah. You can have marriage therapy. We could be each other therapists. Mm -hmm. It could be our pastors. It could be somebody outside or that we go to. Even writing but it down. Like, once you open up, and unravel everything that you have inside of you 
like you'll just start to see you know what it is that you need to overcome and you know you can just you'll start to live a better life and you'll love the person that you're becoming and that's the goal to love who you're becoming yes. and to become the best version of you yes. that's like all we can do that's all we can aim for is just be the best version of us and as long as we're doing that and we're loving e ourselves for it and accepting what we've gone through and you know what's to come then that's all that matters that's all that we mm. can do so just taking you know pride and care and just the being more serious about mm -hmm. our mental health and just and take that yeah. moment to just think about who you are what mm -hmm. you've done self-reflect and really just take a moment to yeah. get your life back on the right track it's not too late no matter if you're 17 28 48 58 or 80. It, it's not too late yeah. i mean you can be the difference in somebody else and each one of our journeys are different and that's one thing we have to accept and realize mm -hmm. Even though we're married, she's on her, she's on a journey. I'm on a journey, and we're on this journey together. And I can't put my stuff on her. She can't try to make her identity mine. We gotta learn and grow and love each other. And and I seen a post on Instagram. They said you you can't conquer um, hate with hate. You gotta conquer hate with love. Not saying that yeah. somebody treats you wrong. You That's just true. keep letting them treat you wrong. But the only way we can make this better that we can help each other is showing each other love. Just because you may look different from me, I had a lot of people, I was cool with the got the kids in high school because I showed them love no matter what, who, no matter who you are, no matter mm -hmm. if, if you're blue, black, pink, white, yellow, long hair, dark hair, I'm going to show you love and regardless of who you are until you, you, you hurt me or something like yeah. that, but you, you got to realize that on this journey in life, we are all created differently and we're all created for a purpose. Yeah. And I accept my journey, you accept your journey, and let's help each other out on this path called life. Yeah, and just take note of, you know, certain things that the people around you say, how they go about certain things, because you can catch when someone or when you feel someone is like going into depression or, you know, having suicidal thoughts. You may catch it or you may not catch it, but just taking that extra time, that extra second to smile. Yeah. give a handshake give a hug hey how are you doing hope you have a great day like compliment them oh i love your outfit you know little stuff like that can go a long way you can save somebody's life and you wouldn't even know it so um that's pretty much the end of you know this video as far as like mental health and how to take care of yourself and like what steps you can do to improve yeah. your mental health so i hope you all gain something from this and yeah. it was beneficial and we put some links um as well as to like some links of mental health mental health websites pages yeah. that you can follow people you can reach out to but i'll link I mean, down my meditation playlist yeah. because it's but you long. just know you're not in this alone reach out yeah. to somebody love somebody take care of somebody and, mm -hmm. and, and allow somebody to take care of you as well so right continue to know that mind body soul we in this together and it's mm -hmm. always important to take a moment to get your mental health in, in yeah. order. So comment below. Let us know what you guys think about this video. And make sure you like and subscribe. And we have a lot of more. I said a lot of more. That was like not grammatically correct. Okay. Um, we have a lot more like great topics that we're going to talk about. So um, I hope you all enjoyed this video. Let us know what you think. And we will see you all when we film again next weekend. Thank you.